The U.S. Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus perform all over the globe, but the show we like the best is the annual concert right here at home. Hello and welcome to a Labor Day weekend edition of Need Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, back to school safety, fire department drills, plus a look back at Women's Equality Day. These stories and more, but first, we really should call the show Construction Update. Starting today, August 31st, Mapes Road from Ernie Pyle Street, that's the intersection that leads to the yet-to-be-completed Mapes Gate, to Rose Street, that's the intersection near the Burger King, will be closed in preparation of the widening of Mapes Road. According to Public Works, the construction period for the entire project is expected to last into next summer. The intersection at Ernie Pyle will remain open to north-south traffic until late this year. At some point, the required construction will affect the Ernie Pyle Mapes intersection. You can read more on the story in this week's edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. Meanwhile, if you notice smoke pouring out of Abrams Hall on Monday, there was no need for alarm. The Fort Meade Fire Department conducted a simulated drill Monday morning. Drill evaluators were on hand to rate the department's setup, including the fire truck's arrival, equipment setup, and entry preparation. No structures were damaged during the drill. Harpist Staff Sergeant Grace Bowson, one of several highlight performances by the Women's Ensemble of the U.S. Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus at this year's observance of Women's Equality Day. This year's guest speaker was Addie Zanone. Zanone is an Army veteran, broadcast journalist, and a fellow Defense Information School graduate. DidFo's Commandant Colonel Martin Downey made the introduction. Ms. Zanone has also been in the news as a leading voice telling her own story coming forward publicly about her very personal experiences in the television industry and overcoming great personal difficulty to ensure her story was told accurately and fairly so that others might not be intimidated into silence. Hers is part of a chorus of powerful female voices exposing and rejecting the abuse of power in the workplace. Zanone spoke a great deal about her military experience starting with her first time at Fort Meade. Well. As I mentioned, it was 16 years ago when I first walked onto Fort Meade as a brand new specialist, fresh out, fresh out of basic training and eager to learn how to become a military journalist. I was slightly older than many soldiers in training, having enlisted in the Army after graduating college, working at the Today Show and anchoring local news for a year. I remember showing up to basic and the drill sergeants commenting that being a soldier must be some sort of vanity project for me, because my story wasn't one with which they were familiar. I remember having to work so much harder to prove I was serious about wanting to be a soldier and that I could do anything the men could do. In fact, I remember being annoyed that I was referred to as a female soldier instead of a soldier because rarely, if ever, did I hear the men described as male soldiers. They were always just soldiers. It may seem like something I'm nitpicking, but to me it really mattered, and I believe to many women it really matters. I didn't join the Army to become a female soldier. I joined to become a soldier, and a soldier I was. In 2007, Zanone and her husband founded the nonprofit Pro vs. G.I. Joe, an effort that brings together deployed service members and professional athletes together through video gaming. You got kids who are starting school for the first time. You got young kids who are actually walking to school for the first time. And that's important now because they're actually taking on a different level of responsibility where before mom and dad may have dropped them off at the front door. And now they're at that stage where they can walk. So for me, I like to see that the walkers learn a lot, of, learn a lot about uh, walking safety, walking safely to school. Um, if you got sidewalks, please use the sidewalks. Try not to wear your headphones. So many kids think that, you know, I got to walk to school, I'm going to be relaxed, put my headphones on, but it takes away from hearing the traffic and you become distracted from actually watching the traffic. You want your kids to get to school safely and come home safely. That's the biggest thing for parents. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.